What we gonna do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a little bit too far back. Come, come, come back up a little bit. I was 12 years old in eighth grade when I first got bit by the TV bug. My first assignment was to script and shoot a commercial for a product that I made up on my own. My teacher brought it back edited and I was amazed that something from my mind could be on screen. Williams, the latest in mind boosting technology. I was completely hooked and so I begged my mom for a camcorder. There's no way I would have known that that camera would ultimately save my life. I continued in production classes till my junior year when I dropped out of high school. For the summer of 92, my friends and I lived out our dreams to be rappers. <laughs> I have the footage to prove it. I left my hometown for San Francisco. I dreamed of attending NYU, although I had no idea how to navigate that. Um, NYU is my top, top choice. I would move around a couple more times after that. and By 1995, I would be back in Portland giving birth to my first daughter. By this time, I was aware that I needed a reel to submit with my application to NYU, so I began to work on it diligently. I put in so many volunteer hours at the cable access station. I do a show called On The Set, and it's a hip hop live performance and informative talk show that I ended up being hired in a paid position there. Being a production technician, the pay was decent, but having the key to the building and being fully immersed in my element, that was the real payoff. I learned so much. I traveled up and down the West Coast, gathering interviews, capturing history, creating memories. But ironically, I never made a reel. Kawana is a young man that I'm very proud to know. definitely true what they say about life coming at you fast. Wouldn't you know it, fast forward 30 years later, I'm still working on this reel. I guess the joke I made about me being 50 when I got to NYU wasn't too far off after all. What was disguised as a joke to buffer any disappointment was actually the wisdom of my younger self preparing my older self to never give up on the dream and to never believe that it was too late for me to go back and complete what I started. Do you wish you could continue? No! Of course! We can go all the way to um, Broadway. Everybody is tied together. Environmentalists, people who are trying to combat racism, sexism, ageism, well, all the isms. It's coming to the point where everybody's going to have to work together because, like you said, the corporations are a common enemy. You could get a job at a factory, but you can't own a factory. Right, right. So, you know, that's, this is a racist country, period.